was a stunning claim nobody saw coming. In closing arguments Wednesday afternoon, prosecutors told the jury Omar Mateen was not planning on attacking the Pulse nightclub. Quote, the target of the attack was not Pulse. He was not intending to go there. Prosecutors say Mateen's original target? Disney Springs. They even showed the jury a photo of a stroller and a doll they say he intended to use to sneak his gun onto the property. But they say when Mateen arrived, a heavy police presence at House of Blues scared him off, so he found Pulse instead. Defense attorneys immediately questioned that theory. All of a sudden, for the first time in the closing argument, that's not their emphasis anymore. Now it's Disney. Um, and the jury will decide if that has any integrity whatsoever. Prosecutors say Noor Salman knew her husband was planning to attack Disney Springs, even helping him scout the area days before the attack. They say she then created a cover story to tell his family. But defense attorneys say Salman had no idea what her husband was going to do. They say Mateen had no respect for his wife and would have never included her in his plan. Jurors began deliberations just before 2 p.m. They asked the judge three questions, including, what does it mean if we decide Omar Mateen acted independently? The judge told them that means he was not under the direction of ISIS. Many of the shooting victims and their families are watching this trial, eager for a verdict. Sir, I hope she gets convicted, and when she does, if and when she does get convicted, I do plan on making a victim impact statement.